hello dear friends good morning good afternoon good evening we have come with another interesting video and uh, a lot has been said by this aisha yusuf and suddenly biafra united had to storm on her video and responded to her i know if you have ardent follower of simon eba or mazinam de Kano or even biafra united you would be happy that yes this video should go to aisha yusuf Calling Igbo's violent people is a joke taken too far because we are not violent. We are entrepreneurs. We are rainmakers. Like we are producers. We make things out of nothing. We are children of Chukwokeka Biyama. We are carrying blessing of God. And that is why anywhere you find yourself as an Igbo person, you thrive, you manage, and you overcome your environment. Jeffrey Unite, we have to give you very, very big thanks for responding to Aisha Yusuf. Self-defense is our right. Nobody can talk you down on, on, about that. No. Nobody can distract you because if you are distracted, your enemy will kill you. They come to our land to fight us. They are the ones that are violent. They are the ones that are terrorists. They want to terrorize us to surrender our lands. By God's grace, we will not surrender our land. We must have to defend our land. And that is the duty of every Biafran. Make your contributions. Demand on ground. Pray for them. Give them your support. They need your support. All of them, they need your support. They need your love. All right? Willingly give out donation so that it will reach out to these guys on ground. Because Shuko Kabiyama is the one helping them to fight this battle. Even our enemies are confessing. Musa is even confessing that even on air in Biafra land, that they don't even see many things. They don't see much. That is why they are afraid to fight. And that is how our God will bamboozle them. We will make them to fall for our sake because they are not fighting just cause. They are fighting innocent indigenous people. So now, Biafra Unite has this to tell Aisha Yusuf. Please stay glued, listen, fill your brain with the information, and then I'll be right back. of carrying arms tragedy for Biafra. Yes, she acknowledged it. So now that Biafra people have decided to carry arms to defend themselves against those who are coming to shoot and, and slaughter them with AK-47, it is now a violence. That is to show you how evil this woman could be how evil they are how evil their heart is their heart is full of evil their heart is black is dark dark light darker than charcoal their heart is darker than charcoal this woman you see on your screen is extremely evil she wants us to fold our arms and watch our youths being completely you know, you know, eradicated from the surface of the earth by the murderous and terrorist 
Nigerian military. That is what this evil woman wants us to do. And now when we pick up arms to defend ourselves, according to Article 20 of African Charter for Peoples and Human Rights, she now say we are violent. Chai, this life no balance, so this life no balance, so people wicked, or people bad, or people bad, my people, people bad, people wicked, people are evil. And Aisha uh, Yusuf is a symbol. Aisha Yusuf is a symbol of. I, I say wickedness is understatement. No, is a symbol of satan aisha yusuf is a satan in human being is a satan a satanic you can't you can't even put individual there or a human she's a satan she's a devil she call us violent because we say no enough is enough we have to defend ourselves at least if you have pretended we have seen we have committed abomination for one minute for trying to pretend not to know about other massacres that took place including Aba high school massacre the mnm massacre in enugu state we have pretended to to not know anything about it which is a abomination a sin to forget your history but we have we pray god to forgive us for that pretense for that one minute pretense but now what about operation python dance aisha yusuf that time there was no arms there was no esn so now that we say we must defend ourselves against this terror a person that called herself aisha yusuf called it violence she said we are violent after acknowledging that they are committing terrorism against us that means she's and she also said that we have right to agitate and nobody has right to to buy us and then she turned around to say but we must not defend ourselves since we are agitating we should go ahead to agitate we should go ahead to do street protests even though they come there let them slaughter you no problem because we are not human beings the same thing she did but i'll come there the same thing she did but i'll come there let's continue people were happy oh yes they are going after i said when they go after the bad ones they come after you said they are going after the bad ones right when they... she's now talking about the then unknown government that's what she's talking about now let me call the name even though you don't want to call it or you don't know how to call it let me help you she is talking about the then unknown government how we are applauding them now let's continue they go and finish going after the bad ones they'll, they'll come after every one of us violence is violence i must never be encouraged in any way very nice not because initially there were some now i see it the same people that were abusing me when we we're saying that look this thing what is happening in in, in the in the southeast was the way Shekau and was the other one, Mohammed Yusuf. So there are two people, it's just like Mohammed Yusuf and Shekau. Mohammed Yusuf was the head of Boko Haram, but he wasn't the violent. This is Shekau is so like what we also have with Inam the Kano and this Simon Ekpa. Inam the Kano, I don't think he's, he's it doesn't look like the violence why he just wants to be called or got to be raved. He will not be put on that thing, put that uh, what did they keep, keep is it keep up? What did they keep up or whatever? What that uh, Jewish thing on his head, put his white this and then people will not be kneeling down, kissing his feet, kissing his leg, and all of that. Now like that one wants to, but you see that one. So, in other words, Nam Dekano was a saint, right? That is exactly what she she put she she's trying to say here. In other words, Mazin Nam Dekano was a saint. <clears throat> Aisha Buhari has told us that Mazin Nam Dekano is not violent. Mazin Nam Dekano is a saint. He's because he's not violent. But Mazin Samanekba is violent. But now let me flash something on the screen just hold on just hold on a moment let me flash something to the screen aisha yesufu you have told us that mazinam dekano is a saint 
he was only interested on putting some uh, putting a jewish cap and uh, you know they will come and bow down for him kiss his legs and all that let us read read what you just wrote what you wrote not now let's read let's read what you what you wrote aisha yusuf said tell the made in china shekau shekau that i am not one of those hashtag victim mentality people that are swayed by his premature bed and stooped posture that he has taken that he has taken on that have that have them kissing his feet with his infantile outbursts and decision and decision making that have had him out in the cold now now this present time she called Mazinam de Kano, the then uh Muhammad Yusuf and Simon Ekpa, the uh Shak, the then Shakao. That is what she said now in this present time now. But when Mazinam de Kano was out, what I was outside, she called Mazinam de Kano made in China Shakao. Are you seeing the the, the the double standard of the woman that we are talking about are you seeing somebody speaking from both sides of her mouth she called mazinam the canoe then made in china shekau and today because mazinam the canoe has been taken she was very she was very very uh, uh, you know uh, outspoken fighting mazinam the canoe by then she was outspoken, fighting brutally on the media against Mazinam de Kano. And when now she thought that eh, they have taken Mazinam de Kano now, Amagu is in Asanko, now brain, his brain it don't cool down. Now she believed she thought that they have achieved that objective. Now Mazinam de Kano has become a saint. Mazinam de Kano is now a cent have you seen it so therefore the problem now is simon Epa. mazinam de Kano is no longer the made in china shekau that she called him in 2017. you thought we are going to forget we know your history i Aisha Muhammad, Aisha Yusuf. We know your history. We know your. I'm going to bring all your activities today. We are here. Even though this book has taken me three hours of hours, I will finish it. I will make sure that I bring all your history and how you came up, how you all start, how you started, everything we've made public. And they will ask you a question. Now, her second tweet is this one you see here. She said, this is absolutely not acceptable. She's talking to Mazinam de Kano. She's talking to Mazinam de Kano. This is absolutely not acceptable. We cannot have security outfits taking laws into their hands and maiming, buying, and destroying properties and destroying properties. This is not acceptable. We must not allow me we must not always we must always remember no one has monopoly of violence and intolerance and we can all be mad and we can all be mad let the law guide us she was talking to Mazinam de Kano for the formation of the Eastern Security Network and for the ESN to chase the Fulani headsman terrorists away from Enugu State in 2017 sorry in 2020 2020 20, uh, december stroke 2021 january that is when this twitter was made when the eastern security network uh, uh, pe uh, personnel were chasing away uh, uh, full and enhancement terrorists you remember when they were born in uh, i don't know if any of you who are here is an old timer are you an old timer like me if you remember when we were posting videos of esn burning down fulani settlements 
in Enugu State and uh, Ebony State and some part of Anambra State and Imo State. Did you can you remember when ESN were chasing uh, 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 Fulani terrorists and burning down their more their their that, those their mud houses and chasing them away from their uh, settlements where they, they they live in the bush where they orchestrate evil, plan their evil, kidnapping and uh, you know uh, 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 attacks and before coming out to carry out their plans in the in the in the public and in the villages in our villages in our remote areas yes now that video is what got this terrorist woman aisha yesuf infuriated she began to write rant and talk nonsense on media on social media this is what she said to mazin americano this is absolutely not acceptable we cannot have security outfit taking laws into their hands so that means esn chasing terrorists away from our land is taking laws into their own hands whereas the zoo massacring our people is law abiding i shall you because she's a terrorist that's why she you know she um she blessed she anointed she oh she okayed she okayed the massacre the massacre of biafrans she okayed the massacre of biafrans by nigeria military because they wear uniform because they wear state uniform so she okays their their massacre but when the esn who are chasing a, a, a known, a renowned terrorist organization. The third, the fourth most dangerous terrorist group in the world. The fourth most dangerous terrorist group in the world. Fulani Hesmen. It is there till now. They never, they have not removed it. It is there by World Terrorist Index. World Terror Index is there. Go and check it in the Google. World Terror Index. Full and headsman is the fourth most deadliest, the fourth deadliest, sorry, the fourth deadliest terrorist organization is full and headsman. And for ESN to chase them away is taking law into their own hands, which is part of self-defense because they come out from their enclaves to carry out, you know, massacre and uh, kidnapping activities against our people in our remote areas. And for Aisha Yusuf, it is very, very uh, okay for full enhancement to do that in as much as they march to Atlantic Ocean. To this terrorist woman, it is normal. Now, let's go back to the video and finish it so we can ask her the important question. I don't know as I would say, describe, but what it resembles, now that one they want to do the violence they do. Now, she's talking about Mazi Samonekwa, let's, let's listen that again. Kneeling down, kissing his feet, kissing his leg and all of that, like that one want to. But you see that one, where well, I don't know as I would say, describe, but what it resembles, now that one they want to. See, best way be like Adaka, Adaka, Enwo. Can swear like in the, or you walk in the boy, you walk in. Enwo. Enwo. Look at Enwo. Adaka. Eh, somebody who looks like ape. Chineke, forgive me. Oh, if I book one, if you can, why Chineke, you can qualify no one kind of email. God, you really created. You can qualify. You can qualify. But no, I um. Oh, I book one more. No, Kachuku. No, Kachuku. No, Chichi. No, Lozo. No, Lonzo. Anywhere, anywhere. I do go close it. It is what it is. Look at the person. Let me even. Uh, Look at the person calling somebody names, saying that that one I don't even know how he looks. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. On a deal alone, yeah, china can never for jaw. Deal alone, yeah, and car. Hey, hello, name. Hello, mellow. Hello, mellow, This word 
in this life no balance let's well, learn. i don't know if i would say describe but what he resemble mm. and that one they want to do the violence they do all sorts of things so the same way with you know Mohammed yusuf and shekha and so, so what shekha turned that whole region with. oh so that one where you don't know what he resemble now they do the violent one abby oh so you wanted all of us to be like mazinam the Kano. you wanted all of us to be peaceful like mazinam the Kano while our youths are being massacred you never see anything this is just the beginning just wait until after december 2nd biafra declaration we are going to show you pepe we will deal with you decisively until you are no more in biafra land initially of course that's why when i see some people saying that oh there were people who were who were supporting Boko. yeah they were because they were they were fighting for the rights of the people then from fighting for the rights of the people they started killing the people that's what violence does and that's why when i see people who when they're talking of protest they want to do violence i said violence will never take you anyway it might give you adrenaline but it derails you it derails your message you no longer find favor with the people because you need the people's support whatever if you say you are fighting for the people and you don't get their support not supporting us oh they must support you but the father they can easily see you're killing them how then is that fighting for them uh -huh. now it's okay this crap this crap i'm i, I i'm feeling like stop I feel like to stop playing the video. Now, she said something here. Let's hear that again. Let us hear that again. Very, very important. Let's hear that again. Of course, that's why when I see some people saying that, oh, there were people who were who were supporting Boko. Yeah, they were because they were they were fighting for the rights of the people then. From fighting for the rights of the people, they started killing the people. That's what violence does. And that's why when I see people who, when they're talking of protest, they want to do violence. I said, violence will never take you anyway. It might give you adrenaline, but it derails you, it derails your message. You no longer find favor with the people because you need the people's support. Whatever, if you say you're fighting for the people and you don't get their support, not supporting us, oh, they must support you, but the father, they can easily see you're killing them. How then is that fighting for them? Okay. Now, um, first of foremost, we are not violent. What we do is what African Charter on Peoples and Human Rights have said. First of all, we are defending ourselves and our lands. And secondly, we are utilizing that word in any means any means recognized by the international community in african charter article 20 and then we asked that same charter a question very important question what is this re internationally recognized means and he told us it is called liberation struggle and then we went again to ask what is the meaning of liberation struggle because maybe as that word is being bracketed or you know sometimes i can form formulate my own english as that word is being bracketed we may not understand it google can you please tell us can you please let us know the meaning of this uh, liberation struggle that they told us about and google told us that it is an armed rebellion waged to secure freedom from either colonial rule or white minority oppression that is the meaning of liberation struggle and that is what the african charter told us that it is recognized by the international community so when we are doing it aisha yusuf said we are violent and the nigerian army that come here to massacre biafran youths are innocent aisha yusuf what was your reaction when our youths are being murdered and she said here that uh, 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 you you can when people talk about violence in street protest that uh, she's not there. Aisha Yesuf, you were there. You were there when. Oh, let me finish the video first. 
that doesn't make sense, does it? That that then is not it's not fighting will, for them. I will come back to this uh a minute starting. Minute starting, yes. And so this was how that whole thing uh, you know started. And then you started with the, the the stay at home, children could not go to school, and people could not open. I did a thread and I said, look, if you really if you say I think that first day at home was the day they were taking Kanu Namdi to the court. I say, if you want to feel that effect, come to Abuja and let there be stay at home in Abuja. <laughs> I can mm -hmm. tell you, if the Igbos in Abuja don't open shop, all of us go here anyway, because there are many things we want to buy that will not be there. That's the more. It doesn't make sense, you know. You do it once, once in a while. It makes sense. You do it every, all the time. It no longer makes sense because everybody is busy. But that I said to them would be more impactful than you to go to the southeast that is already been being victimized from the federal level. That mm. so many people are against it, and you yourself, you are not the one victimizing because you know they use your head a bit because you are the one who know they use your head. I shall you suffer because you know get sense and the the little one you get has been you know has been uh, uh destroyed by the blood of the innocent i will explain that your brain has been covered with the blood of innocent you have a, you have so much blood so much blood your hands are your hand is stained you have so much blood in your hands aisha yusuf so much i will explain now First of all, you say we should come and do sit at home at, in Abuja. First of all, like as I've told you, the two reasons why we are doing sit at home. The number one is for the unconditional release of Mazin Amdekano. And number two is for the is for us to is for the um the the the, the liberation of Biafra. Because the restoration of Biafra is something we are fighting in multidimensional ways, not in one way. As you can see, in case you don't know, we have sued your terrorist country to African Union Court in Banju. We have sued you. And we are not relenting that, oh, we have sued Nigeria in Banju, African Union court. Therefore, let us wait till, uh, let us wait and see the outcome of the court. No, 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 no. There is nothing like that. As you know, in case you don't know, let me also tell you that we have submitted letters of recognition to many international nations. And we are not sitting down folding our hands waiting for them to recognize us. No, 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 na, 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 na. Mazen Amdekano told us that when he went to the European Union and uh, uh, was it European Union or United Nations, one man, one white man told him, look, this thing you are doing will not work. It's not going to work. If you want to, if you want people to recognize you, if you want people to come to listen to you, go and do something. He was told. And what was that thing he, he has to be, he, 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 he should go and do? Go and fight. Go and fight. Fight for your freedom. Fight. Go and fight. That is the only way people can hear you. Mazin Amdekan was told, go and fight. And that is why we're, that is what we are doing. If you know about what I'm saying, please, can you just tell me yes? Can you just type yes in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about? He was told, if you want us, because he said when he mentioned Biafra, people, stand, people stood up and started leaving. One man walked up to him and told him, look, if you want us, if you want us to hear you, if you want people to listen to you, go and do something. And Mazen Amdekano looked at himself. He has been doing something. He has been traveling all over the world, seeing Biafrans, governizing us, making us to understand what Biafra is all about, making us to understand the meaning that they did, what we would gain if we are free to make our own decisions in our own nation. And we followed him. 
So what is that thing that he has not done that he has been told to go and do, to go and fight? Nobody gives you freedom, not even the UN, not even the European Union. Go and fight. Fight for your freedom. That is what Mazinam Dekano told us. That he was told, a white man told him that. And it did not take long. ESM was formed. Now, Aisha Yesufu, I will come back to that number 13, that minute 13. Was telling them every people will not come out. Children couldn't go to school. We are not fighting to liberate Abuja. I have said this time without number. We are fighting to liberate the land of Biafra. Not Abuja. Whether the presidency is in Abuja or not, we don't care. We don't care. After all, our fight is not against the so-called presidency of the Federal Republic of, the, uh, of Nigeria. This, this, this is not. Never. It's not. We are not fighting. Is there anywhere to is Tinubu, Tinubu is nowhere to be found. We don't know who, we don't see Tinubu. We don't see Tinubu. And Tinubu does not have the capacity or the strength to carry AK-47 to come and face us here or to massacre our people. Tinubu does not have the capacity to do that. Our fight is with those in khaki uniform who come here to massacre our people once they leave our land once we we deal with them decisively once we deal with them to the extent that they they can no longer go patrol they can no longer patrol whether with their their armor tanks with their fighter jet with their uh helos van or to patrol on the street you know or to walk on the street of biafra then Biafra will be free. Tinubu will be incapacitated. Our fight is not against Tinubu. We, Tinubu is uh, just a one person. He's nobody. Tinubu is nobody. He is nobody. So we are not fighting against Tinubu. Tinubu is acting based on what the chief of army staff tells him. In case you don't know, Tinubu is acting today. Tinubu has not said, okay, come, let us uh, release him. Let us declare Biafra. Uh, not even declare. Let us leave them to go. Tinubu has not said that is because the chief of army staff and the chief of defense staff, Musa, is still telling him, no, just hold on first. We, may, we can make headway. If, if you don't know, let me tell you today, you are you are a buffoon. Aisha, Aisha Yusuf, you are a moron. You don't know anything. Our fight is not with Tinubu. Tinubu is still keeping quiet. Not to say let's leave them to go. Is because Labanja and uh, Musa are still telling him, relax first. We, we might make headway. We might finish them. That's why that's what that is what is holding Tinubu. By the time Labaja will tell Tinubu, oh, oh God, this thing not the work, oh, this is our plan, not the work. Oh. It'd be like say hey, if we continue this thing we, we, at the end of the day, these people will still go and we'll not go get soldier again. We'll go still remain for Nigeria. Tinubu will be forced to call for a national conference where Mazi Namdekano will sit, Mazi Simon Ekpa will be there. And they will say, okay, how are we going to do our borders? How are we going to do our bilateral agreements, our foreign policies? Are we going to be allowed to come to Biafra land as brothers without visa? Or are we going to purchase visa to come to Biafra land? And Biafrans will say, will you, should we come to Nigeria without visa or with visa? There will be a bilateral agreement signed and documented. Biafra will go officially, and the world will then recognize Biafra. In case you don't know, we have no business with Abuja. Abuja is Mazenam Dekani is in Abuja, but it's not where we are. We are not fighting to liberate Abuja. We are fighting to liberate our own land, Biafra land. If Asorok was in, in the east. Then we'll be fighting within Asorok. Yes, we are proud of you, our brother.
We have ever been proud of you. You are ardent follower of Maze Namdekano in Motarakuko. You we are going to class with your pen and paper. Very good. That is the kind of response that this push push Nigerians need. Push them here, they will stay, push them here, they will stay, push them here, they will stay. Even Aisha Yusuf from Edo State. A Biafran, a supposed so insulting the Igbos will not stop us from defending our lands. Misunderstanding us or misconstruing us will not stop will not stop us from defending our land. We know what we want and it is our right. That is even the major thing. We are not criminals. We are not terrorists. We are law-abiding citizens of Biafra. So hence we have government. We must obey our government. Our government says defend our land with AK-47 rifle. We must defend our land. And that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Please help us to share this very video to Aisha Yusuf and her likes. Thank you.